Hello everyone and welcome to our channel Project Management and Control. This video tutorial I am making to demonstrate critical part of multiple open project in Primera P6. As in Primera P6, it is possible that we can open and we can work on several open projects at the same time. When we are talking about the Primera, Primera scheduling, schedule, it, scheduling is based on critical path calculation. The, what is critical path calculation? In the critical path calculation, Primera perform uh, forward path and backward path calculation. In the forward path uh, calculation, Primera get early dates and from the backward path, Primera get calculate late dates. Based on this early and late dates, uh, critical path is determined. The critical path is uh, can consider as the longest part of the project, uh, which determine the duration of the project and all the activities which lies over the critical path will be considered as critical activities and any delay of these activities will impact the project completion. In this video, we will see that how P6 is handling critical path when we have opened several projects at the same time in P6. So in, in this time in the screen, you can see our, our, our typical uh, two projects open at the same time. One project is a simple project for fill down and refresh data, another is the resource labeling. You can see here that all these two projects have their own critical path. And in addition, uh, they have their own summary bar. And in addition to this, there's a summary bar which, uh, which determine the overall status of the open projects. So when we are uh, when we are performing the uh, scheduling calculation of critical path calculation in Primera P6, uh, let's see how we can perform this uh, critical path calculation for multiple open projects in Primera P6. So when we are scheduling a project, we need to press F9 button. Once we press F9, schedule dialog box will come out. In this uh, dialog box, we just click on the option button. Once we click this option button, the schedule option dialog box will be open. In this dialog box, at the little bottom, you can see that we have one option which is calculate float based on finish date of each project and open project. So if we go to select each project, then each, all the open projects will have their own, their own critical path. But once we select open projects, Primera will calculate the one critical path based on all the open projects. Uh, open project let's, so let's see. Is this uh, let's see this in Primera P6 itself. Now, Primera, we select two projects. After selecting this project, we just click right click here and open projects. Once you have opened the project, you can see that we have two projects simple project and resource leveling program. They have two programs and projects, and they have their own critical path because they have their own completion dates. So now if you want to see the summary bar of all the open projects, we just go in group and sort button. In the group and sort, just select show grand totals and click this on click apply. And you can see now this we have three summary bar, one for each project and one for the as a summary for all the open projects. If you have more than two projects open, there will be their projects individual summary bar and one for the as a total as a whole to determine the overall status. In this state in, in window, you can see now we have uh, we have two critical path uh, each for different projects. So if you go in schedule option, press F9 button, and in the F9 just go uh, option button in the option in the bo little bottom you can find that calculate float based on finish date of each project. So now we have selected each project. So if you select each project and schedule now, we will see that each project have their own total, uh, critical path. But if we select uh, in the option, select or uh, calculate float based on finish date of open project. If we select this option, we select now and schedule now, it will ask that float for activities is based on the latest schedule finish date of all open projects. Just click OK and then schedule. Now you can see that one project, one critical path for the resource leveling will go on and we have now only one critical path for these two open projects. So this technique is used when we have, if you have the, if, if the main contractor and you have the, some other different subcontractor and different, and all subcontractors, they are providing you uh, pre, uh, weekly updates and you, and you want to know which critical path, which is the critical for the project and you open them at the same time. And you can run them. And one one thing you have to consider that when you are updating the project as a whole, all pro, all pro open program, you want to update at the same data date. You need to make sure that all the open program projects will have the same data date. If they don't have, then Primera will give you warning and will give that you have to make sure that all uh, open projects uh, will have the same data date. So this is uh, mandatory 
So now if, in this case, if you have a main contractor and you have the updated program from different subcontractors, you can update them and, uh, and calculate the critical path based on the open projects. So in this case, you will get only one critical path for the project and you can know that which is the most critical for the projects. And in the other way, uh, if you want to show show each project in the contractor subcontractors performance individually you can select uh, the other option which is uh, press f9 again and if you go open you will see that uh, calculate flow based on the date of each project so in this case you will get the critical part for each subcontractor and in the other case which is open project if you select the second option you will get one critical part as a whole for the all the open projects so I hope this is some good, new, some new information for my fellow planning engineers. And if you like it, please consider subscribing. I will appreciate your uh, nice and um, good uh, suggestion to make uh, uh, more videos for our fellow, fellow planning engineers. Please uh, don't forget to share and subscribe our channel. It is a uh, uh, subscribe to our channel, and I will try to keep making good videos for our fellow engineer. See you again in the next video. Thank you very much for your time. See you again. Please don't forget to share and subscribe. See you again. Take care and bye-bye.